As a minimalist, sometimes I get a bit trigger happy when it comes to decluttering. I admit it, I'm a bit addicted to getting rid of stuff. Are you like that as well? But some of the things I own, I've had for years. They've survived moving to London, back to Stockholm, to Berlin, and back to London again. And they're still here even after me changing up my style countless times. And they manage to stick around every time I go through my wardrobe looking for things to give to charity. Let's take a closer look. This cardigan I bought on sale in Stockholm for less than five pounds, probably back in 2014 or 2015. And for years, I wore it almost daily. It's the coziest to put on when a bit chilly indoors, and it even works as kind of outerwear in spring and autumn. The reason it has lasted me this long is because it's so generic. It has no buttons or belts or details that would make it feel dated very quickly. The color is also very neutral, the shape is super clean and straight, and basically there's not a whole lot you can get tired of with this piece. Plus, just the sheer practicality of it. I mean, it's so handy to have around if you're like me, always a bit chilly. So a long, clean-cut, neutral cardi is a great addition to any wardrobe. I got this dress as a press gift in Berlin, maybe 2016 or so. Why have I held on to it? Well, first of all, the shape is quite unique. I love how simple the silhouette is, but at the same time, the low-cut straight shape makes it stay modern year after year. The color is also very fresh and it's easy to style as it is or with a top and trousers underneath. This is a great example of how a simple but unusual cut makes an item stay current for years. Another thing I love about this piece is that I'm taking it with me on so many trips, making me instantly remember such good times whenever I put it on. Probably my oldest piece, I bought these vegan dogs here in London back in 2012 or 2013 maybe. Dogs are such classics, so if you have a pair, even if you get tired of them, stick them in the back of your wardrobe and wait a year or two, because they will always come back. I wear these in periods, sometimes not feeling them at all, but I know not to throw them out because I will love them again and again, and they are a timeless classic. By the way, I'm thinking of doing a video about classic shoes and why they are iconic. Give me a thumbs up if you want a video like that. Another press gift, I got this menswear bomber jacket in Berlin around 2016 or so. I shared this jacket with David, it fits us both, so it's a great piece to keep around since we're getting so much wear out of it. The classic bomber is another timeless piece, like the trench coat or the denim jacket, it will always be current. The toughness of the style also makes it modern and edgy, even though the styles and shapes of the bomber hardly changes over the years. And again, since this particular jacket doesn't have any weird details or patterns, it's so classic that it ages really well. I'm not even close to tired of this piece, and I don't think I ever will be. Plus, David looks super hot in it. One good belt. What a difference it makes to your styling possibilities. I got this dirt cheap at a vintage market here in London in 2014, I think, and it's for sure one of my most worn items ever. You know, I'm repeating myself, but it's all about being timeless. This classic braided look is never going out of style, and because it's a menswear belt, it's quite chunky, which to me makes it stay modern. I love how it gives my outfit this cool, vintage, gentleman kind of vibe. You guys know how much I like to feel like the Panama hat guy, film noir, with a cigar and a linen suit. And this belt is definitely that style to me. So it's staying in my wardrobe for years to come. So what can we learn from looking at my most worn pieces? There is a sweet spot for clothes that are classic, good quality, timeless, simple and neutral but at the same time uniquely shaped and in tune with your own personal style. If you want to test your own wardrobe, why not ask yourself which items in your wardrobe you would hold on to if you were also moving from London to Stockholm to Berlin and back to London again? Do you have any favorites that will last the journey? I am dying to know, so go ahead and tell us your favorite pieces in the comments. If you want to see me style these pieces and all of my other favorites, come on over to Instagram where I do like my style diary of what I'm wearing in the week. Hope this little experiment can help some of you build wardrobes that you love, that are filled with pieces you would bring even when you move, and to not buy new things that wouldn't make it if you move to Stockholm tomorrow. Let's shop smarter and more long-term. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you liked this one. Bis bis and hey
looked like. Okay, I look, and I would always be surprised. Did, did you think it looked normal? Yeah, normal to my eyes. I didn't think I looked like a freak because okay. like, I thought I looked like special, but not a freak. Okay. I didn't think like, oh, this is outrageous, Jenny. Stop it. You look like you're wearing a costume. Thin line. I didn't think. <laughs> did you think 